In the vast mosaic of human history, few celestial bodies have captured the collective imagination as deeply as the sun. From the very inception of human consciousness, the sun has been an object of awe, reverence, and worship for countless cultures across the ages. In this contemplation of ancient solar devotion, we shall set out on an exploration through time, exploring the intricate fabric of beliefs, rituals, and cosmologies that have woven the sun into the very fabric of human existence. As we traverse the epochs of history, one common thread emerges, the sun, in all its brilliance, became a metaphor for the divine, a symbol of life, renewal, and transcendence. These ancient cultures looked to the sun not just as a physical entity, but as a manifestation of the cosmic order, a bridge between the earthly realm and the divine. When we consider the shared attributes associated with the sun across these ancient belief systems, we find common archetypal elements. These include the ideas of light and illumination, life and vitality, cycles and time, divine and transcendent power, a central and unifying force, heroic journeys and transformation, and the principles of order and balance. How deeply these archetypal themes resonate with the human experience becomes evident when we recognize that they speak to fundamental aspects of our existence, both in the physical and metaphysical realms. I mean, look, it's not hard to believe they worship the sun when we see how profoundly these elements reflect the core of our shared human consciousness. As we delve into the ancient Egyptian pantheon, we gain insights into not only their spiritual reverence for the sun, but also their pragmatic understanding of its life-sustaining power. The Egyptians recognized the sun's role in providing light and warmth, essential for agriculture and the sustenance of their civilization. This fusion of the sacred and the practical highlights the deep connection between human survival and the celestial realm. The ancient Egyptians, with their unrivaled mastery of architecture and celestial observation, held the sun deity Ra at the pinnacle of their pantheon. Ra, the radiant sun god, was not only the source of light and warmth, but also the symbol of life and creation itself. The Egyptians believed that Ra traveled through the sky during the day and journeyed through the perilous underworld at night, being reborn at dawn to illuminate the world anew. This cyclical sojourn mirrored the cycle of life, death, and rebirth, central to Egyptian cosmology. I am the one who crosses the celestial ocean. I am Ra, the radiant sun god who brings light to the darkness. This passage from the Book of the Dead portrays the journey of the soul, identifying with Ra, the sun god. The celestial ocean symbolizes the cosmic journey of the soul through the afterlife, guided by the sun's light. Moving across the ancient world to the Indus Valley, we encounter the Vedic traditions of India, where the sun was personified as Surya, the radiant god of illumination. Surya was considered the ultimate source of energy, symbolizing the divine light that permeated all aspects of existence. The Rig Veda, one of the oldest texts in human history, is replete with hymns extolling the glory and power of Surya. These hymns not only captured the reverence for the sun, but also conveyed a profound understanding of the interconnectedness of all life on earth. From Ovid's Metamorphoses, the young day opens as the sun god Apollo rises from the eastern waves, shedding his rays upon the world. Ovid's word evoked the timeless image of Apollo, the sun god, heralding the arrival of a new day. The description of the young day signifies renewal and rebirth, with Apollo's rising symbolizing the return of light and vitality. Again, here we have the fascination with the sun as a symbol of hope and the eternal cycle of life. Among the Mesoamerican civilizations, the Aztecs held the sun deity Huitzilopochtli in great esteem. Huitzilopochtli was not just the sun god, but also the god of war and conquest. The Aztecs believed that their sun god required regular offerings of human blood to sustain his energy and ensure the sun's continuous passage across the sky. This belief led to the grisly practice of human sacrifice, which, while horrifying to modern sensibilities, underscored the profound significance of the sun in their cosmology. In ancient Rome, the sun was personified as Sol Invictus, the invincible sun, 
and was celebrated with grand festivals, most notably the Sol Invictus Festival on December 25th. The Roman Empire, with its vast reach, helped disseminate the worship of the sun throughout its dominions, leaving an indelible mark on the spiritual landscape of Europe. One cannot overlook the Native American cultures, where sun worship was deeply intertwined with their spiritual beliefs. The Hopi, for example, considered the sun as the father of all life and the source of wisdom and knowledge. Sun dances, in which individuals fasted, danced, and prayed, were central to their religious practices. Indeed, allow me to elucidate, it's not merely a world of sunshine and illumination. For just as day inevitably gives way to night, there exists a shadow cast by the sun. The Mochi people of ancient Peru practiced human sacrifice as well as part of their sun cult. Archaeological evidence such as murals and pottery suggest that they engaged in ritualistic killings of captives, often as offerings to the sun god. In the ancient Canaanite religion of the Middle East, there is evidence of child sacrifice associated with solar deities like Baal. It was believed that sacrificing the firstborn children could ensure the sun's favor, harvests, and fertility. The Aztecs, as previously mentioned, practiced one of the most well-documented and chilling forms of solar worship. The Incas, like the Aztecs, also practiced human sacrifice in the name of the sun god, Inti, Children, often selected for their purity, were sacrificed as part of elaborate ceremonies with the belief that their innocent souls would help appease the sun and secure favorable conditions for the empire. The Roman emperor Heliogabalus introduced a new sun god, Elagabalus, into the Roman pantheon. His attempt to elevate the solar deity led to bizarre and controversial rituals, including the practice of ritual prostitution which generated public outrage and eventually contributed to his downfall. These examples further illustrate the unsettling and sometimes extreme lengths to which certain cultures went in their devotion to solar deities. They reveal that human sacrifices, often of the most vulnerable members of society, were seen as necessary to maintain the sun's favor and ensure the well-being of the community. Such practices reflect the dark underbelly of solar worship and serve as sobering reminders of the complexities and contradictions inherent in human spirituality. A potent reminder that human beliefs, no matter how significant or spiritually elevated, can sometimes lead to the most extreme and gruesome rituals. This duality of reverence and sacrifice further underscores the complex nature of human spirituality. In their veneration of the sun, these civilizations unveiled a profound longing, a desire to forge a connection with the universe, to grasp the enigmas of existence, and to discover meaning in the perpetual dance of day and night, life and death, creation and dissolution. The duality of sun worship encapsulates a profound paradox in human spirituality. On one hand, the sun is revered as the ultimate source of life, light, and divine wisdom. It symbolizes enlightenment, cosmic order, and the cyclical rhythms of existence. It has been personified as a deity in various cultures, representing the divine and the eternal. Conversely, the darker side of sun worship reveals a complex facet of human belief systems. In some cultures, this reverence took a troubling turn, leading to these extreme and gruesome rituals. This duality underscores the depths to which human beliefs can sometimes lead, where the same celestial entity that represents life and renewal can also be associated with death and destruction. At the end of the day, it prompts us to explore the nuanced interplay between faith, tradition, and the extremes to which people may go in their devotion to what they hold sacred. Human Fluence out.